Hey guys, welcome back. Missile evasion is something that I think a lot of DCS players struggle with when they first get into the simulator, so we're going to address kind of how to do that in this video. And of course we're in the SU-25T, which is the free aircraft that comes with DCS. One of the two, the only one that's combat capable. We've got our radar detection equipment on, we've just locked the American Hawk site that's out there. Magnum. Magnum. Fired our two KH-58 anti-radar missiles. And now, because that beeping noise is telling us that we're being fired on by the SAM site, we're going to try to mask ourselves behind these mountains here. And we can still hear it, but we're now we have managed to mask ourselves. Let's not hit the mountain here. Alright. Turn on our... Um, television sensor just in case. And yep, I was afraid of this. So what we have managed to do Alright, we're being tracked again. And what I'm trying to do is Alright. We're being fired on. And you notice that that warning drops off when I go into a turn, that's because there's no antenna on the underside of the aircraft to pick up that warning. So we're trying to... And we almost hit the trees there. Basically what we're trying to do is mask ourselves in this terrain instead of just trying to use countermeasures because, trust me, it will not work. Unless you're dealing with really old SAM systems, and even then, that's questionable. So, when you're doing this, you always want to be thinking, where can I go if I get launched on by a SAM site? one that we're dealing with is out in that direction. So if he launches on us right now, we're kind of at a break in the hills. So we're going to turn back in, but we're going to try to make sure that we can still pick him up on the RWR, and we'll know if that's happening by whether or not we're hearing a beeping noise. And we fired both of our anti-radar missiles at him, but for some reason neither one of them managed to connect. I'm not totally sure why, but for the purposes of this video, we're still dealing with an active SAM site, so we don't want to push our luck too much. And we're just going to go into how to evade these missiles without too much airframe stress, which is a problem on the SU-25T, not because it isn't tough, but more because if you start trying to pull high-G maneuvers in it like you can in some of the payware aircraft and even some of the free mods, this thing just will not take it because it's a great big old heavy aircraft that does not have a lot of thrust, it's rather slow, and it, it'll just stall out on you if you try to do that. So. It's best not to do this anyway, because even in a high-performance aircraft, you can lose energy very quickly performing those violent maneuvers, and that can put you at risk to things like enemy fighters. See, they were being launched on again. So what we're going to do duck behind 
these mountains here. And I'm not trying I'm trying not to get too low because if I do I won't be able to pull up, especially in this thing. It's really a bucket of bolts this plane is. Pretty good for air to ground work, but not so good when you're dealing with things that shoot back at you that have to be evaded. So instead, you want to use the terrain as much as possible, like I'm doing here. Notice we cannot hear the RWR beeping. That means that we are masked to those radars out there. So, I hope this tutorial has helped you. And please remember, this is only for radar-guided missiles. Infrared and electro-optically-guided missiles are a totally different thing. They're much, much more nasty, and we will cover that in a separate video. So please join my Discord server if you're interested in being a part of the community. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.